How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for a little more fantasy life. In the last episode we arrived in Port Puerto and in this episode we are here at the Port Puerto Palace to go meet our friend Mr. Pescado. And there's a there's a treasure chest over there. Andy Pescado, Lord Tommy and Butterfly. Remember he he deemed us lords last time so that was weird. That was now a bad time. We can come back later Mr. Pescado. Butterfly please. My dad doesn't even go by Mr. Pescado. I'm Andy and your timing is perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, oh, before I forget, I got something for you. A gift for what you did earlier. Luciano! Oh, that's okay, you don't need to yell at other people for our sake. It looks like Andy's is, big, uh, is a big fish around here. You called, sir? Luciano, these are the two I was telling you about. I want you to pay my debt of gratitude to them in the traditional fashion of Port Puerto royalty. Certainly, sir, I should put together a banquet for our guests. Ooh, I gotta say I'm on board with this. Uh, you having a banquet, you know, just for being thanked? Or just, you know, meeting this guy and, you know, fighting wolves. I'm okay with that. Might I suggest a magical sea beneath the sea or perhaps a big rolling wave of eternity? Uh, that all sounds wonderful. Wait, no, please stop. We don't need any type of celebration or banquet. Butterfly, please do not stop me from getting this. We're just here to deliver a letter from the King of Castell. That's it, just tear us out for a sec. Butterfly, please stop. I want this. King Eric sent us here to see you. Hmm, so everyone seems to think this great danger is threatening all of Rivaria? It's pretty much the gist of it, yeah, I almost said the gift gist of it. I thought there was something different about Lunaris, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. There's a huge X on it now. No, that's not it. Uh, that's probably it, Andy. Anyway, I'd love to help you, but the decision isn't just up to me. We're not a monarchy here. My sister is our governor. I think you should tell her everything you just told me. Where can we find your sister? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, she's probably docked over at Eyepatch Harbor. I hope that Eyepatch or Harbor has that many R's for real. My sister is totally different than I am. I mean, she's great, don't get me wrong, but she's strong-willed and, and decisive. She likes to uh, get stuff done, you know? One of those kind of people. Oh yeah, I know, those people. Can you tell us where Eyepatch Harbor is? I just love it that there's so many R's. Follow the smell of pirates. Yeah, ha. Huh. Just kidding, we get along great with those guys. Uh, I don't really believe you. Take a letter to my sister. She knows what to do and she leave the palace, go south, hit up the marina, and go west from there. You can't miss it. Just be careful, though. You never know what a pirate might do. And if we can't throw you a banquet, please, please feel free to take everything you need. Like that treasure chest in the corner? I'm gonna see what's in it. A silver dagger. Great. I'm, uh, if anybody knows, I'm much beyond the dagger days. Hello, aristocrat. Oh, Lady Olivia. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's cool. Well, anyway, we've got to go uh, meet some pirates. Because, yeah, this game's getting awesome. Progressively more awesome as it goes, which is pretty sweet. I do have to say, uh, so let us... Follow, continue on our little adventure here to the harbor, which was no accident, people. Uh, if you know anything about fantasy life, you know they love to troll you a little bit. I do wish we could have Winfrey the dog with us, though. Uh, who somebody reminded me of, uh, somebody reminded not too long ago that sounds, actually, I'm gonna save because I haven't saved. Uh, I just closed my 3DS, so I'm gonna do the in-between episodes, so I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna save. Uh, me and my awesome, I'm not losing the chance of having my mermaid helm, it just looks too cool! This looks too freaking sweet, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, we are here to the marina, and yeah, we don't get to do, we don't get to do anything too cool, but this is the place that we kind of checked out before in the, uh, in the last episode. So, here we are, here's some pirates! What's up, how me? The one fetching pirate costume you got there, that'd be one fetching pirate costume you got there, Lassie. Play, d play and dress up like a pirate, don't make you one. You know that, don't ya? Alright, had to make a brief cut, but we're good. I would watch that tongue of yours if I were you. If anyone is a pirate in clothes only, it's you. Shiver me timbers, what sort of seawater be you drinking there, lassie? All you do, all any of you do, is argue with each other. You just get into spats on land, not on sea. You haven't been into sea in years. You're like turtles and uh, turn into aging, decrepit turtle tortoises. I thought you just called them turtles turning into turtles for a second. You didn't just call me a tortoise, did you, lassie? Such an insult as that others walk in a plank. Me mates, get over there on the double. The missus is asking for trouble, so let her be taking it now. Nothing personal, lassie. Be hurting just a teeny tiny bit when you see the tooth, doctor. Nothing too bad. Oh, snap. And stop talking in these ridiculous accents. You all grew up in Port Puerto. Um, hello. Huh, excuse me, Mr. Tortoise. You're making it so much worse. My name is Pirate. Pirate Johnson. Oh, I love it! Because it says pirate, and so they're like, pirate- Oh man, fantasy life with the jokes. It's very like, Paper Mario-esque sort of humor. Get ready for a harsh lesson to be learned in some etiquette there. Alright, so we got Olivia on our party now, who's the governor of this place. Something I said, or what should we do? Uh, I'll go ahead and fight this time, I won't, 
you know, mess around. And I also want to shoot people with a bow and arrow, so let's shoot some pirate. Dang, she's killing it over there. I'm shooting pirates all the way back here. You know what? I'm going to charge my little scattershot move and boom, 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 boom. Dang, we just complete, we slayed them. We slayed them. Who says that to anyone, though? That guy got slayed. Holy crap. You're just a pitiful bunch. Can't even take a couple of land lovers. Too busy belly aching on it. I thought uh, I shot them so much they turned invisible, but I guess that isn't the case. Uh, your, your attempt at some sort of sea dog dialect is cringeworthy. Please stop. Perhaps it is best we leave, Lady Olivia. It has been quite a while since we pushed out to sea. I just love that it completely changes. But I won't be changing my accent. Me and me made so, li like talking this way. I think it would crush them to have to go back on proper speech. That's fine, Brutus. Just go. Yeah, that's a little whisper. Well, it's nice to see how awesome you are, Olivia. Are you okay? Surely you're joking. Those buffoons are kind of a running joke in town. They wouldn't hurt a... They couldn't hurt a fly, but hurting a butterfly, well, that might be the extent of their abilities. Oh man, the air conditioning just turned on, so that's fun. Uh, unfortunate, really. Brutus used to be considered a master of the sea. Something changed in him lately, so sorry if there's air. You know what, I'm gonna make another cut and I'm gonna turn that off so you guys don't get annoyed by it. Be right back. Alright, and we are back, everybody. Uh, the air conditioning is off, so there's no going right into the microphone, because I was smart and decided to set my microphone up. Right by an air conditioning vent, which is, you know, the bit- Well, it's uh, the only real place for the microphone, but it just so happens to be by a vent. Please pay no mind. Uh, thank you for your attempt to intervene, however. That was rather adorable. Farewell. Okay, well, don't call it adorable. Did you see me shoot them? Was the guys so hard they disappeared? Tell them Brutus at least got one good swipe on- Uh, what? He has a reputation to protect in town. Okay. Interesting. She joined our party to come slash some people. Maybe we shouldn't have interfered. She still seemed thankful in the end, though. Anyway, where do you think we can find Andy's- Wait, what? Lady Olivia? That was Andy's sister, the governor. We need to give her King Eric's letter. Come on, we gotta follow her. How did you not catch that butterfly? I caught that immediately. Uh, so we're gonna go into the pirate ship's cabin. Isn't it awesome that there's pirate stuff? There needs to be more pirate stuff in video games. There's, like, no pirate video games that really exists. I know there's one that Rare is making, and it's like open world or something. I don't know much about it. Sorry to intrude, but they need, there needs to be a Nintendo IP that's pirate-based. Wouldn't that be awesome on the Switch? You got opportunities now, Nintendo. You gotta do it. Golden Bolt's asking for it. I'm indeed Lady Olivia, governor of Port Puerto, little, little butterfly. Yes, of course, Lady Olivia. I meant no disrespect. We have a letter from King Eric of Castel. Handed over the letter. Ah, uh, how lovely. Whoops, knocked the mic stand. So the little king would like my help, eh? I forgot that some lands still uh, use that <laughs> antiquated monarchy system. I suppose you're Tommy then. I did hear about you. Thank you for helping my younger brother. He has a tendency to get in over his head. You mean Andy Pescado? So I'm just gonna call you Olivia Pescado now. I always modeled myself after my father. Both Andy and I were born into a noble house, but nobility never seemed to suit me. I suppose that sounds ridiculous, but I seek pity from no man, nor butterfly. But if you were a bee, or, or we had Winfrey the dog here, she would be seeking some pity. <laughs> we're not certain, but we're still trying to figure it out. But it seems the goddess treasures are the key. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of talking in this one. You certainly seem to have the temperament of a pirate, Lady Olivia. I knew something was wrong. Whispers from the sea, my blood singing a pirate's dirge. My father once ruled the high seas. He was known as the Buccaneer King, far and wide. One day, he fell in love with a kind-hearted princess he met on Tortuga Archipelago. And the fruit of that forbidden love between a wild buccaneer and a nobleman was you and Andy? I'll tell the story if it's all the same. The marriage went through, uh, despite a flurry of objections, it was a stormy affair. However, the people of Port Puerto eventually embraced this union between pirates and nobility. And then they made some weird, twisted pirate governor. The angelic smile of a newborn baby seemed to change the entire world of an instant. Wow, are you talking about yourself or are you talking about Andy? Was it Andy? No, me. That newborn baby with the angelic smile was me. I'm glad Butterfly and I are on the same page. Nobody listens to me. I like the part about the forbidden romance and the stormy objections. That means you're actually half pirate and half princess. Should we call you... Oh, that was... That's cringy, Butterfly. That's like worse than a... Pe more people make that joke? Anyway, whenever I asked my mother about her homeland, she would tell me about a secret treasure. Really, what was it? She was always very clear about the fact that she didn't want me to ever become a pirate. And she didn't vo want Andy playing sports. I can still hear her voice. Do you play sports in Port Puerto? Or a blood course through your veins. I forbid you to become a pirate. I absolutely forbid it. Andy put that coarse hair down. Olivia, I do not mean to be cruel, so I will tell you this. It is said that under the great light of Lunaris, which has an X on it now, on the Tortuga Archipelago, a legendary treasure awaits the great pirate of destiny. 
Andy, take that helm out of your mouth this instant. Take that helm out of your mouth? I suppose if it were you uh, to find this treasure, I would bless your wish to be a pirate. I know what we gotta do, Olivia, because maybe I'm the pirate person of legend. Who knows? I've made my mission to find this treasure. I wonder if this legendary treasure hidden on Tortuga Archipelago is one of the items Eric seeks. It's possible. The archipelago is currently uh, blocked off because of uh, one of those... F what? One of those falling... Oh, what were they called? Moonstones? Doomstones. No, that's not it. Regardless, one of those stones crashed near the archipelago. So they're falling here, too. Did you not see that giant hole in the middle of the dock? Uh, do you think that's okay? Consider it a favor for helping me earlier. Or at least for trying to help me. I'll also throw you a three-day banquet in the style of... Yes, we know. I want a banquet, butterfly. Stop... Stop doing that so... Stop saying that so I don't freaking get it. Uh, we shall do the seven day feast. Seven days of feast. Bur Butterfly, speak for your freaking self. I want seven days of all feast. We'll see about that. This adventure may be a chance for both of us to prove ourselves. What do you mean? Let's discuss this later. We must be off. I shall meet you on the outskirts of town presently. Sounds good. All right, let's go to the Port Puerto Beach District, a place we kind of scouted out for a little bit in the last episode. Um, but... I'm really excited to get down to Tortuga Archipelago so you guys can see. It's kind of the East Grassy Plains of this thing. Like, how did Butterfly not... Okay. That's just kind of a huge... Hello, Pirate. Are you Pirate Johnson? No, Pirate Johnson was much taller. That guy is Pirate Jones. I'm just gonna give every pirate I run into, I'm gonna give him an obligatory, regular, just like ordinary last name. We got Pirate Smith is somewhere around here, so... Don't second guess yourself. All right, where where are we going? Oh, Port Puerto Beach District. We actually didn't go to the Beach District, so that's kind of awesome. First off, look at how pretty cool this is. We got blimps over here, stuff that we'll get into later, of course. Um, and then we got a nice little lighthouse over here. Can we? Uh, it seems to be locked. Oh, we can also pick this up. Some Sunny Puff. I love me some Sunny Puff and whatever the heck. Oh, it's Timber. He's some kind of woodcutting spirit. But anyway, check this out. I don't see Lady Olivia. Maybe she was talking about somewhere else? She kind of said outskirts, right? Kind of vague. Hey, you hear that laughing? Isn't that Ahab? He seems to be having a good old time over there. He's like, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah, ha ha, I love the beach. Let's go see what's up. Uh, do we know Ahab well enough to do that? And he's got like his demon birds or whatever. What's up, Ahab? What are you laughing at, my boy? What are you laughing at, my dog? Uh, I knew we'd meet again, my little friends. How does the sea roar for you? That uh, roar's good, or well, I guess. That's proper English. I always make an make a, um, attempt to say I'm doing well, because technically that's right, and I'm doing good is not proper English. Had to make yet another cut. What? No, of course not. I was just doing something for myself. I just, not talking about this anymore would make me feel both well and good. Well, we agreed to that. Care to join me? I was just talking with me dear late wife regarding my daughter. Probably looks like I was talking to myself, eh? Ha 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 ha. I'm so sorry we interrupted you. We didn't know. Ah, uh, blast your apologies. Don't you worry, your little head. Sparkly butterfly lassie. I like Ahab. He doesn't second guess anything in this world. In fact, you might not be able to look out, see my daughter be a hot-blooded competitive lassie, but she's still my girl. Little girl, see? Even though she's all grown up now. <sighs> Don't ever become a parent, little butterfly. The little ones will break your heart without even knowing it. What? What do you mean? Even if a father says something his daughter doesn't want to hear, it's important she listen. Parents always need to be active in their children's lives. Even if she acts like she's not listening, she is. Well, you seem to have a bit of passion on this subject, eh, little flappy lassie? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, your daughter is lucky to have her father giving her guidance, that's all. Well, we don't, don't we have a wise little one here? And I'm just like, I got a mermaid helmet! Not doing much. I love it. Ha ha ha, I spent 10 hours in Riveria. All right, maybe you got a career in family therapy, butterfly. What's YouTube been doing around here anyway? We're supposed to meet someone here, but I don't see her. So you up then? That must be a tough one. I hope not. She promised she was going to help us search for a legendary pirate treasure. Ah, uh, the days of searching for booty. How I miss it. He likes checking out that booty. Ahab loves that booty. But treasure hunting nowadays ain't the same as what it used to be. The sea is angry these days. The land is scared. And most uh, the most important thing about adventuring is getting you and your mates back safe. Remember that. And be sure to spread the word to your treasure hunting friends. If they ever show up. Ha 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 Uh, not funny, Ahab. We're getting stood up by your daughter. Wait, how do you know so much about treasure hunting if you're just a fisherman? Uh, I wasn't on the legal side of the sea, little one. Ha ha ha. Oh, is that so? I mean, look at this man. Tell me he's not a pirate. The legend says it's all you gotta look up. Lunaris marks the spot. Wait a sec. How do you know what we're looking for? We don't have much time to do, but we don't have much to do but pass the time. 
uh, with talk here in Port Puerto. World travels, word travels, little butterfly. Some, have something to do with Lunaris? Got more than something to do with it. If Lunaris takes a shine to you, I'll show you the treasure. All right, so we're gonna get the treasure soon. No drinking the juice either. It's tasty though, har. Okay. Well, that was weird. Ahab's eyes really lit up when he started talking about the treasure. Did you notice that? Don't wonder what he means by Lunaris marks the spot. Probably something involving nighttime and the moon. I'm here. Please pardon my tardiness. My crossbones were crooked. What? These pirate people are so freaking weird with their puns and their whatever. I think we kind of interrupted a friend of ours here. I felt kind of bad about it. Ah, yes. The spot is rather special. A few of our more sentimental citizens pay their respects here. We still have yet to locate the most recent doomstone, but I've had the blockade removed. Let's go to Tortuga Archipelago immediately! Finally! Olivia joined our party! The chatter can cease, and we can go to Tortuga Archipelago. There's a lot of talking now and then in this game, but you know what? It's all funny, and they do a good job moving it along, in most cases, I will say. There is a post-game sort of uh, DLC thing where the uh, the amount of like talking and chatter in the game outweighs the actual gameplay. Which, you know, to me, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, also, how did we come left, come from the right, if... I don't know how it works, but hey, we walked a couple steps. But check out Tortuga Archipelago. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's pretty cool. The Tortuga Archipelago is one of the many jewels of Port Puerto. Archipelago, as some people say. My mother is often taught my mother often talked of the serenity she felt when standing on the beaches here. She said that although she would pass on, uh, the sea would remain the same. And so it did. Lady Olivia, this is no time for maudlin uh, indulgences. I apologize. The most important thing is finding this item to see if it is needed, is if it is indeed one of the goddess treasures. Uh, that adventure is getting you and your mates back safe. Where have I heard that before? Oh, I don't know. We just heard it from a fisherman we met earlier. A fisherman? Are you certain? Did I accidentally blow the cover of this? He said he was a fisherman. Like, he could have been carrying around a rod as a prop. Strange. You saying that somehow made, uh, made me remember something else my mother said. Well, yeah, what's that? Beware the seven heads. Sounds pleasant. I'm sorry, what? Beware the seven heads. Why did that suddenly pop into my head? That is weird. Do you know what it means? I have the, haven't the faintest idea. But I have a feeling we're going to find out soon. Uh, beware the seven heads doesn't sound safe to me or fun. Uh, because it makes me think of a seven-headed monster. I can't kill a, a turtortle. That sounds like an amazing Pokemon name, by the way. Uh, but this is a big, uh, little, well, not big little, it's a nice little, uh, shack over here. Uh, it's a beach hut, and there's also, occasionally, uh, some fish will show up here, and it'll, yeah, there's piranhas there too, but they can only attack you when they're in the water, so, sucks to suck, toothy piranha, sucks to suck. But check out this, uh, Alejandro's beach hut. It's a nice little spot. Man, I, I gotta say, I always, I really dig the music here, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's nothing really going on in, uh, she's, okay, Marianne's for cooking. So if you're a chef, go talk to Marianne. She'll probably give you something cool. But, uh, yeah, I wanna shoot something before we, well, I did shoot some, I don't wanna shoot tortoises, though. I wanna shoot a toothy piranha. Oh, we got pirate, pirate Jones over there, pirate Smith. Sh kill a fish in the water! Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm on the beach! Bo oh, I missed. Don't go by the tortoise. I don't want to fight the tortoise. You're gonna make me fight the tortoise. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck! Oh, oh, I got my super move. Oh, I gotta use a super move on a toothy piranha right now. Oh, what's over here? We got some uh, tortoises. I don't want to kill freaking tortoises. I want to kill a toothy piranha. Arrow rain, boy! Oh! Get on my level, toothy piranha. But anyway... We're gonna be exploring some more of Tortuga Archipelago. You can see there's caves all around here. Uh, Nautilus Cave. I think there's things for us to go kill in there, so we might go do that. Go hunt, I should say. So we might go do that in the next episode. We got the whole, excuse me, archipelago to explore. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.